It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, Wax is here. You. Another week of brilliant idiotness. Um, how you feeling, Hezzy? Oh, yeah. One thing about heavy boy. No, man. What happened? No, man. Why can't we? Don't, no, man. You're not going to go you, through everybody who's here in the room? We are. It's, Alex is here. Angelo is over there on the cameras. Everybody's playing their position. Right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, the people yeah, who are yeah. supposed to be talking are talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Not the people who are producing are producing. Angelo's over there shooting pictures. Yeah. We doing what yeah. we're supposed to do. That's it. It's all about roles, it's all baby. All about roles and understanding the roles. Yeah. Did you see what did you see wait, with wait. Ebony Kate? Roles as in what kind of role? Roles, uh, roles, positions. Oh, okay. Did you yeah. see um <laughs> what Ebony K. Williams said? Well, first of all, how was your week? Mm. My week was good. My week was good. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything exceptional to talk about, to be honest, for my week. Oh, um, I'm getting married, bro. I sent yeah. an email to you guys. When? Yeah, we're no going to have a wedding, bro. Yo, bro. When? You yeah. never sent me nothing. I did not get that. I did. Me I sent y'all an email. I ain't get it. I didn't get I no goddamn email. I don't it. send the black email list yet. Oh. <laughs> uh, that one goes out a little something. later. <laughs> you're, getting, nah. you're not doing it this year, are you? Nah. Yeah, this year. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk yeah, to yeah. me, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah. Like, why? Pregnant? <laughs> Yo, why is everybody yes, saying that? <laughs> Anybody hey, you say you're getting married and me, a question, who's already married, they go, why? Why would you do no, it? No, no, no. I'm happy with the marriage, but it seems like, a, I mean, I know you proposed. When did you propose? Yeah. Last year? Last year, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that makes that sense. That's after nah, nah, me, nah, though, nah, nah, right? No, I think I was I think I think was engaged right, before you. Right before me? Yeah. So it must yeah. be baby fever, man. Maybe. When, Maybe. when, when would you get Congratulations, when you man. I think I did during the pandemic. Before Netflix, for sure. Before the Netflix special? Yeah. yeah. I'm all for that. I think that when you propose, you should get married within the next 365 days. Unless there's a global pandemic. Like, we probably would have been married even before that. That's dope. True. Yeah. But yeah, whatever. It's, it's cool. If you it's propose fine. and you don't get married within a year span, I'm not really sure you want to get married. Yeah. Sure. Whoa. A little after that. Whoa. When did you, you propose? December. You got till December, bro. No. I, mine is 420. 420 Why? what? Wow, seriously? Oh, so next year, 420? Yeah, 420. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm, a year and a half ain't bad. Yeah. Anything after, like, if you, I'm telling you, anything right. after a year, year and a half, it's like. Yeah, you doubting. Eh? Yeah, you Honestly, really it's to. so hard for me to do the podcast without acknowledging Man, that no, man, <laughs> no. You got to stop. No, I, I, we I, have to how? stop doing that because I'm going to tell you why. Because some people just feed off energy and they, no, man. What happened? That's a, that's a good conversation, though, because there's just, uh. There's this woman in um, North Carolina. I think her name was was Kelly Moore. She's a nurse. Right. Right? So she's a nurse at this nurse facility, and she got suspended by um, uh, the nursing facility because she kept doing these TikTok videos on the job. Yeah. But her content had to do with the patient. So she'd be saying things like, oh, I'm going to unplug this person's ventilator and charge my violation. phone. Or she was acting like she was- That's funny. That's was, a funny joke. But she was There's acting like she was pouring more though. pills into the person's cup, and she was like- Oh, I'm gonna make this person sleep longer. So yeah. it was a, it was a joke. So yeah. naturally, if you got somebody in that nursing facility and you're watching this woman do this on TikTok, you're mm. going to complain. Especially my it's parents like, or somebody. Nurses That's wild. really like became popping during the pandemic. You think? Oh, uh, duh. But is that why so many people <laughs> die? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, do so many people die because they're busy doing TikToks the whole fucking time? Well, or they could well, be saving people's lives, well, helping them breathe and shit. But that's that's my point, right? It's like I don't, yeah. you know, that that young woman was not focused on what her actual job yeah. was. Mm. You know what I mean? Ah, so you're saying like sometimes you got to have more focus on what your job is. That's it. That's all. Mm. That's all. That's all. That's all. And that's like she, the young lady uh, in North Carolina, she blamed her situation on TikTok. She was like, I got fired because, no, she said I got fired because of trolls on TikTok. Yeah. No, you didn't. You got yeah. fired because of you. Yeah. But she got suspended. She got suspended. You got suspended because of you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then she blamed yeah. it on cancel culture. It was like, it's yeah. just these Karen's mad at me. No, it's mm. people who probably have folks in that facility. Yes. They say you no. fucking around with the defibrillator or whatever, Come and they're gonna on. be upset. Yeah, Come especially then, if they die. And her excuse was, I'm just playing. This is comedy sketches. Do that in your off time. Or do it at a comedy show. Do it at a comedy <laughs> show. Go to an open mic. Do it when you're in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not at the not when you're actually supposed to be there. Nursing. Yeah. I think this I think this whole generation, yeah. I'm not even exaggerating. Money is not the root of all evil. Attention is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These 
youngins want attention. Not even just these youngins, adults too. This mm-hmm. generation. That's why I said this generation. Some of them get attention and they start craving attention so much that it fucks up their money. Like, you know, even this woman in North Carolina, she's an actual nurse. Yeah. Right? But the attention of TikTok overwhelmed her so much yeah. that it caused her to end up getting suspended yeah. from her actual job that's yeah. paying her fucking money. Now she yeah. got to go fund me yeah. asking for money to take care of her kids. Yeah. Like you did wrong. That's literally what it says. It's like, I got TikTok. I got, I got, uh, what is it? I got fired because of TikTok. I need money to feed my kids. Nah, you should have thought about that yeah. before you craved the attention mm. over the money. Yeah, yeah. You know it's a new I mean? drug, man. It's yeah. a crazy It drug. is a drug, attention. It's a drug. So it's my whole drug. thing is don't let any attention, fuck your money up. You know what I mean? There, there is a, yeah. And I guess maybe there's an entitlement there. But I have seen a generational shift. No, it's crazy. As well. And we no, speak no, about, you have like a lot of like boomer motherfuckers talk about that. Those generations are so entitled. No, but it's crazy. When it comes to like jobs and stuff, it is true. Like younger generation, they do feel as if they deserve really hard everything. To find good which work. is good because you'll go after the things you deserve. But I don't know, at least uh, our generation or... I don't know, at least we felt like we had to go get it or it, we didn't deserve it. There was maybe more of a gratitude that came along with it. I don't care what you do after you're great at what it is you're here for. Mm-hmm. Uh, Be great at what it is you you're do. here for. Uh, That's it. If you're great at what it is you're here for, it'll be all types of things and perks that come with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But the attention, you, you know, can can kind of like sway everybody's opinion. Everybody wants to be in front of the camera. It's very rare you find someone who doesn't, it isn't like uh, intoxicated about being in front of the camera. It's yeah. very rare you find the people that are behind the camera. And the people who were like, I like being behind the camera, like those people who genuinely like that, oftentimes they thrive because there's not a lot of people fighting for those positions. Yo, expe- yo Schultz, Schultz hit that shit on no the shit. head. No I've shit. been saying that for the past couple of weeks. You know, there's people around us in our circle that they they like to play their position behind the scenes because mm. that's what they want to do. They want to be executives. Like mm. Paige is like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, our, our girl Sim is like that. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm I'm watching their, their evolution goes a lot faster because mm. they know what they're here for. And right? they have you know a better I mean? relationship with talent because there's not resentment. Like I remember when I would go like out for like acting gigs and shit like that, you go into these rooms with these like casting directors and they're just failed actors and like everybody that you're dealing with in the business, they are. everybody you're dealing with in the business is just a failed actor, right? Yeah. And they resent the fact that you might want what they couldn't have, right? And all these people that you're dealing with, like producers, a lot of times they're like failed actors, failed comics. There's all these people who's like failures at the thing that you're trying to be great at. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for them to root for you because they wish they were you. Yeah. But when you meet a motherfucker who does not want that. They want to be great at their thing. That yeah. shit, that yeah. shit, man. That's I'm, the best relationship if, if, you end yeah. up having. If I could tell anybody in this generation something, man, that is the road less traveled nowadays. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And and the road less traveled usually gets to your, gets you to your destination. Yeah. That other lane is crowded as a motherfucker. Yeah. Like yeah. you got, I mean, even when you go on YouTube, you say? To create your own lane. Create your own lane. Even when you go on YouTube, you got doctors doing YouTube videos and lawyers doing YouTube videos and you know, it's like, it's cool to get certain information out there, but are you a YouTuber or a fucking doctor? Well, they want that flex, man. They want them comments. They want the people yeah. saying how great they That's are. That's right. Well. They want the bitches sliding the DMs yeah. and shit it's like that. It's all about yeah. pussy Everybody at the end of the day. Attention. That's right. Pussy. It's all about pussy, man. For, right, for real, man. Yeah. For real. Attention so, you get it from pussy, man. That's it. It's, it's, it's tricky, man, but I have noticed that. And it is, what's interesting is like, there are people that will be behind the camera. I don't think a lot of people realize, like, if you want to make money in this game, uh, if you're willing to be like behind the camera, it could be executive, it could be manager, camera it could be guy, camera engineer, very important. producer, radio program director, a comedy show promoter. They actually make the show. They actually Bro, do everything. You could make millions, so much more Hundreds money. Of thousands. Yeah. Yo, the producers of music make way more than the musicians, mm-hmm. right? Right. Like all these musicians that money. y'all love. That's right. Fucking Dua Lipa's and all these people. That's right. You know who's making all the money? People produce those fucking That's songs right. every time That's it gets right. played in a fucking yeah. Colgate right. commercial. Yeah, they money. get a That's check right. off of that. Yeah. Same thing with they the producers really. and writers and TV. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of money in this game, That's yo. Right. But you right. got to decide what you want. Do you want money? Do you, you want are. success? Or do you just want attention? attention do you want pats on the fucking back? That attention, as, as, like you said, that attention could be intoxicating. Yo. It could be that one person that recognizes you somewhere. Right. Or that one time you go somewhere and get something for free. Or yo, somebody man. gives you a little extra. You know what I mean? That's a new crack. Or just even seeing your name all on social media. That's why some of these people don't care whether 
it's negative or positive. This mm. is long as they're being talked about. Yeah. That shit, listen, and by the way, everybody's going to have an opinion. Let's not get it fucked up. I yeah. say it all the time. There's the rule of 10. Three people going to like it. Three people not going to like it. Peace. Both people going to be on the fence about it. You mm. know what I mean? But that is when you're really being authentic and you're living in your truth, right? Yeah. So if you put an opinion out there, you got to know everybody not going to agree with it. Yeah. yeah. Right? But if if all like, like I used to say, I was telling white, no, this dude, and, and Angelo, you're not getting on camera, so don't even think about it. Right? <laughs> gotta be careful, well, Remember, he was licking the shit in the- uh, Out of control. We wanted, to, we wanted to fuck you up for that shit. Gotta be careful bro. He's starting to throw his own birthday parties. <laughs> 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 that's all, that's all on Instagram, he's throwing birthday parties. I'm like, okay, Angelo's birthday bash. This is how it starts. Listen, but we really wanted to fuck him up for that shit, because if I see that inside this, this on, market, man. I might want to fuck you up, because my grandma might grab that fucking lime, Word, and yeah. I gotta fuck you up. Angelo was one of those guys that was licking shit and putting it on the internet, looking mm. shit Come on, man. Store and putting it back. And All you right. guys hired him. I, when I started, I was about to fire him. Yeah. I was like, you know what? But he I, understood right away. He got he it. He got it. He got it. As far as we know, at least he ain't putting it on camera he no more. Like, 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 <laughs> private. Now we don't know who's <laughs> licking the fucking ice cream or the limes. <laughs> like, listen, even with wax, they wasn't about to make wax shit, man. Oh yeah, yeah dude, that's you know what I'm saying. They wanted to make wax shit, man. I'm gonna that's fuck everybody. Up. Listen, I told bro. you what happened. That is your most famous <laughs> clip. You know listen, how many people hit listen. me up randomly? I'm still getting the shit right now. You shit man. It. <laughs> why I gotta get it? But yo, listen. you dapped this guy up. My this why my DMs always yo yo. Every time it goes viral on TikTok, yo, you actually shake this guy's hand when you meet him. Yeah, yo, that's still going. Yeah, yo, that's homie who be catching this shit. Yeah, yo, bro. I was told you I was inside the fucking airport, and the motherfucker like they call me Doodle Boy. <laughs> it's so bad. I said, yo, I said, I said, I did you go in the bathroom. Yo, I, 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 told, I said, I did you go in the bathroom you right can't now. can't say that after somebody calls you doodle boy. Yeah, I'm going to fuck you up. If somebody yeah, calls you, you doodle boy, you can't say. The last place he's going to the bathroom. The bathroom? He knows you better not go in the bathroom. I'm going to catch this shit for you. Yeah. It's like, you, you can't say that. Not because I couldn't beat him up right there because he kept playing around. I'm like, ah, I'm still But how are you going to beat him up for something you say? I know, but that's, come on. That's my no, point. No, but that's my point. You said that shit. You, you put that out there. But I didn't actually say I grabbed the doodle with my hand. Yes, you exactly did. did. No, no. You I said always tissue there. No, it, it, it doesn't matter. That's not the weird part. <laughs> <laughs> this guy driving me fucking crazy. He drives me crazy sometimes. I hate trying to explain nobody, normal shit. Nobody does that. Yo, I've seen monkeys do that. What? <laughs> they grabbed it. You said it. <laughs> 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 They'll be that like six minutes, shocking. thirty seconds into the podcast. Andrew <laughs> calls, <laughs> whack the monkey. No, that shit gonna be all right. over. That shit gonna be all over. <laughs> no. Nah, you said y'all let your shit touch the water. That's what you said. You catch it before it touched the water. The tissue every time. As if the Still? shit, as if the shit going in the water is abnormal. That's where the shit's supposed to go. Wax. Lay it down. Lay it down. It's like knocking somebody out. It's like splash. You might hit their head and my blood so it might come out. So you take shit, catch it, and then you lay it bro, gracefully you, in the bro, water? You, you don't you like water do touching your ass? It's disgusting. And it's shit water. Do you shower? So other shit went in there. It's your shit. So you, so you, if a girl give you, give you head, you kiss her right after? But listen, you don't wash your as ass when you shower? As long as I don't shower? come in her mouth. Huh? You don't wash your ass when you shower? You supposed to go, I heard people do that. You don't let the water touch your ass in the shower? No, it's not that. I'm just saying. I thought people like take a shit and they go take a shower because they got splashy asses. Every time they shit, it just splash all over. How are you shitting, dude? Like, what's coming out of you? You know how much I eat at least pounds a day of food. Splashy asses sound fire. (laughs) I want want Lil Nas X to get a band called the Splashy Asses. That's fire. (laughs) You got a fire name? Yo, you know what's fire? Lil Nas X and the Splashy Asses? This is what's fire is how much all of a sudden uh, uh, people in hip hop uh, care about their kids. Man, uh, now that Nil Nas X is kissing people, man, right? Man. Like, cause that's the first thing everybody just yeah. say you don't like gay shit. This is, Stop yeah, going. Oh my okay. children, yeah, my children are gone. seeing okay. this. Yeah. Oh my kids, just say you're homophobic, fam. Cause all the shit on YouTube right now, all the kids is mimicking. So if they see their friend right there as a boy, he's going, he's seeing that. Wax. He might want to go over and try to kiss nah. him. Wax, you grew up off Beanie Siegel. No doubt, and he you fucked talked me about up. How ex- he and I just but, said, but that. I've never heard you complain about Beanie Siegel. No, I said Beanie fucked me up. But I've never heard you complain about it. I've never Wait, heard you say- what did Beanie do? Beanie just made him want to do, do, do criminal do, do, shit. Do shit that Beanie was talking just about. Like, I thought Beanie did some gay shit. I'm nah. like, what? <laughs> man, no, man. what's his no, line, no, bro? No, but that's no, what no. I'm trying to say exactly my point. I, I was doing the shit that Beanie was talking about, the shit that Beanie was talking about. And right. I was like, I relate to that. A kid might see that on his thing. He might see his friend right there and be like, come here and kiss you know the, the boy. Like, what the you, know fuck? The, you know the difference? Little Nas X ain't doing nothing criminal. 
the shit that rappers were some a lot some, a lot of rappers were encouraging us to do was actually criminal. We well, understand that, but if a, if a father don't want his kid to see uh, to do that to kiss another boy, there's a million things I don't want my. I'm listening. This 43 year old Charlemagne talking. 50, 50, Happy 20, birthday! Thank you, brother. Yeah. Twenty something year old Charlemagne would have thought a different way. Hell, early thirty something Charlemagne would have thought a different way. But there's a million things in hip hop. I don't want my kids to see. It's a million, things, right. it's a million things, things in American culture you know, I don't right. want my kids to what's see. What's A thousand percent. Two guys but that might be one. Him. You know what's so crazy? Eminem said that in a song one time. Remember Eminem really said... Okay. Um, it don't mean you hate them. It's just your God did not want you to be into that. God wanted them to be into that. That's Yo, fine. you know how many times I put pork on my plate and people looked at my plate and was like, Ew, ew gross. Why are, you, why are you eating that? I'm like, I don't know. I eat and pork. And then you're just like, I eat pork. And they're like, ew, I don't they eat pork. They make me feel so much more worse than uh, if I see two gay guys. Everybody what? let two gay guys walk around and have no problems. When I got pork on my plate, they make me feel like shit. Well, then maybe. And I, I don't even want to bring, bring the pork around. You said, what good. makes you feel what? what People judging him for eating swine. That's not true. Come on, gay people. <laughs> oh, they, 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 get, they get accepted all the time with no problem. They walk down the street. Son, ask Allah. Allah. Ask Allah. It's the same thing. What sin. are you no, talking about? If I got pork on my plate. I get on an award show right now yeah. and eat a bacon sandwich. Allah's pissed. Nobody's going to make a YouTube video about yeah, it. They're going to go, <laughs> crazy. go crazy. Yeah, they will. If you go to huh? the Middle East, they're going to be tight. Gonna be, hey, we're not in the Middle East. I'm talking about here in America. But you know how many people look at you like, bro, you eat pork? You know what I'm saying? Man, How could are you we, put are that we in your serious mouth? right now? Yo, they do that to Son, me. You got to listen. <laughs> are we where you at? Crazy. You, you think pork, pork eaters get it worse than gay people? Worse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You tell me right now. There's you eat so pork? many other options. Huh? You eat pork? No, because it's so not healthy. You see pork on your plate right now. Can I make You'll a like, What the fuck? You'll make a bigger deal about that pork on your plate. I'm going to be honest with you. Gay guys. I don't care if a guy got pork or dick on his plate. <laughs> I'm not eating either. I don't understand why y'all care so much. I mean, I don't understand I don't, why y'all care saying, so much. I'm not saying we care. No, I just no, no, said no, no, no. that on, they get on. more slack. I have to say something. I have to say no. something. No. You it, will be more you'll be more mad about that pork on your plate than seeing two gay I've guys. I've never right? seen somebody get beat up for eating pork. I'm just saying. You've never been to Middle East. We're in America. I'm not talking about the Middle East. Well, it depends what you believe in. If you're if you're Muslim I, and you don't I, eat I just pork, not ask I've him never the seen, listen, I've never seen I've never, I've never seen any legislation created to oppress people that eat pork. Let me make a point. You in the Middle East. Right. Or in parts of the world mm -hmm. where Islam is the religion. Right. It is a <laughs> sin to eat pork. But it's a sin to be everything. over. But, but 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 that's not true. They'll kill you for being gay. But here's the thing. OK. If I'm God, I would be a little bit more lenient if you're gay than I would if you ate pork, because you could not eat pork and still feed yourself. But if you're gay, there's only one thing you like. Yeah. It's dick. I don't eat pork for personal, you know, dietary reasons. And then you don't but, eat dick because you're not into dicks. But, but I, that's here's fine. my thing. I don't care if somebody does either. If you see someone eating pork, are you going, Ugh. I don't pay for it. No, I don't. But one thing I don't do, if I'm paying for the food, I'll be like, no, you can't. Like, <laughs> you're not you eating no pork. pork. You've seen me do that a million times. But we see two gay guys. If I got friends that's gay, they can come Bro. over and eat. I'm Can not paying for nobody this? sex. I'm being no. honest with you. <laughs> I'm not paying for anybody sex. Not my guy friends, not my girlfriend. Like, I'm not paying for nobody sex. No, okay, maybe sex, no, but it's, I think that, I think you're homophobic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely no, homophobic. No, People can come after me. I am homophobic. I think you're homophobic. I'm porkophobic, yes. Porkophobic. No, I'm porkophobic. I don't even like my kids watching Peppa Pig. <laughs> that's how goddamn homophobic I am. How, that's who don't need to be on TV. Motherfucking Peppa Pig. I'm tired of seeing Peppa Pig and her family and her friends on my goddamn television. It's ruining the kids. It's gonna make all the kids want to eat goddamn ham. Pork, Do you understand okay? what I'm saying? You know what's mad funny though? It's like I'll talk to some of my gay friends and they'll be like, "What well, did I know what I'm saying? Like say I wasn't being sarcastic." <laughs> yeah, like yo, girl, they want to listen. They want to reinforce the homophobia so bad. He's like, "You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm serious. talking about. I'm fucking playing. I don't give a shit about Peppa fucking pig. This guy, yo, we gotta stop this, yo. Why do we care so much about oh, who shit. people are sleeping with? Oh, no, I, don't I don't care. care. Why? I don't, I don't care. care. But I have like I have gay friends and then they'll say things like this. And they'll be like. I don't know how you fuck pussy. Like that shit is gross. Like that's how you talk to me. Gross. Like they be like, yes. ew. Like it's just nasty. Da 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 da. How do you do yep. that? And they don't hate women at all, but they are just not biologically. They say, they say look nasty. Is oh look at how yeah. How does it smell? And you know what I say to them? What? Don't judge me because I'm not judging you. I guess what I'm saying is it makes it's not hateful at all. Like I, those my gay friends love women. Like I some of them friends. know through my wife to be my fiance, but they're 
biological disposition is not to like women and find them sexually attractive. They find them beautiful. They find them stunning. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean they want to have sex with them. Just like we can find a guy, you might not feel comfortable admitting this, but I can say a guy's handsome, but I don't want to have sex with him. You know what I mean? So there's nothing wrong with seeing two guys make out and be like, oh, I'm not sexually into that. My, my, that doesn't make you a hate like a homophobic person. You're just not sexually into that. Just like a gay that. guy seeing a guy and a girl make out and being like, eh, I'm not into that. But back to your original point, I I don't understand the moral high ground that some people stand on, especially when it comes to 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 American culture, hip hop culture, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're not making videos talking about the violence against women. You're not making yes. videos talking about, you know, uh, the, the celebration of the drug culture, the glorification of the gang culture. Now, listen, I salute brothers that are in the NOI because they're so consistent. Yeah. Right. Peace. They will challenge you when you're talking about, you know, murdering your own fellow brother. They'll challenge Peace. you when you're talking about disrespecting women yep. and they, they'll they challenge you when it comes to Eating homosexuality. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Of yeah. course, mm-hmm. eat pork, but yeah. that's the they, but they're always standing on a consistent piece. Morality, moral high ground. That's what they believe over there. But it's like other people, man, it's like, yo, you complaining about little Nas X, but it's just like, yo, when if, when's the last time you complained about, you know, these brothers that are out here rapping about killing each other? Son, I would love one of their kids to be like, since when's you when you care about me this much? Care about what? Like one of the one of the guys is complaining about the little Nas uh-huh. X video. My yeah. kids gotta watch this. I'd love one of their kids to come out and be like, since when do you care about me? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's the first time I'm hearing from you in five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just it, it's just weird. I could I be sitting back like I don't care. Yo, you let, know what I'm saying? Like cause even when we talk out, who gives a fuck? Fuck each other. God bless. You know even what I mean? when we like, talk about influences, I saw somebody post this on social media earlier. They was like, Y'all grew up on the Cosby show, a different world, fresh prince. And y'all didn't, some of y'all didn't go to college. Family matters. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you didn't become a doctor. Yeah. You didn't become a lawyer. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't become an attorney. All like, God, you know, Phil, yeah. Philip Banks, God bless the dead, was an attorney. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Claire Huxtable was an attorney. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable was a doctor. Different worlds about a bunch of kids going to college. That didn't inf- influence a lot of people to go do that type of stuff. So why mm. do you think that? What little Nas X is doing is going to influence people that much. Well, maybe it did because I think it did. You, you got influence off something though. I maybe it's not been those, those actual people, things, though. but you got influence over something. Like I said, Beanie Siegel was me. You see what, what did Beanie Siegel influence you to do? Be out here wilding and doing the dumb shit that I was out there doing. Once again, little I don't Nas, think so. Little Nas X is not committing a crime. All right, that's cool. There's nothing he's doing that's criminal. I could have went other ways though. I'm just saying what, what you said. I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like uh, people don't feel comfortable. This is the thing. People are fraudulent, right? Talk to me. They know how they feel, but they're not uh, willing to be honest with their feelings because they're worried about the reaction to their feelings. So what they do is they create a justification for those feelings mm-hmm. that they think is okay. For example, that person thinks it's uh, wrong to be gay. So they see somebody out there being gay publicly that doesn't sit well with them. So then they say, oh, my kids. I care about my kids and you can do something to Mm -hmm. my kids, which is bullshit. You just don't like it, but you're not honest enough with yourself to admit it because you're worried about the backlash. Because notice every single one of them that says some shit, immediately afterwards is like, I got nothing wrong with the gay community. I got nothing. It's like, Mm -hmm. cap, 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 cap. By the way, it's not just hip hop, though. I mean, that's the whole right, right? The whole right does this all the time. What are you talking about? Every cartoon that comes out of it. Absolutely. And we call them out this exact same way. So I don't don't want people to think that, I I hate when they bash hip hop and act like hip hop is like, hip hop's full of homophobic. Our black men are so homophobic. No. (laughs) Them them conservatives on the right? No, come on. (laughs) I can argue that the white politicians on the right are more homophobic. You know why? Because they actually create the legislation that can oppress people. How is hip-hop not Ronald Reagan? Like, What do you mean? Uh, we're going to sell drugs. Nah, that's not all hip-hop. By yeah, the way, that's not all hip-hop. It's not all hip-hop. I'm making a joke really here. Not. But like, yeah. you understand what I'm saying. Is like, You can't go... Hip-hop, oh, hip-hop, is, hip-hop is just as American as rock and roll. Yeah, I, rock, I, I'm not trying to make this a racial thing. I'm just trying to I didn't say a, racial. <laughs> <laughs> you just told on yourself. No, I didn't say nothing about race. What were y'all talking about? Jack Harlow? That's no, what I said hip hop is an American thing, just like rock and roll. Of course, hip hop is an American thing, but right now when we're talking about, <laughs> let's go. I'm just gonna get out of this. One. It's not even get out of that. I'm picking Ronald Reagan on purpose. Yeah, I'm yeah, picking, yeah, And when yeah. we say right wing, when you're going right wing, you're not talking about black right wingers. You're talking about white 
Frank, no, that's white not ringers. true. Who, who are you talking about? The because, black. I, mean, white I, I did say white politicians because those are the ones making the laws. But no, you have yo. When you say right wing, what do we th- what are we thinking of? Candace Owens will speak out against Little Nas X. The Larry Elders of the world will speak out against Little Nas X. Like that's it's really like conservative values because they're so into religion that they think that homosexuality is like a a, 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 re- a sin. But if we're talking about ho- a homophobia at large, it's the American issue. Like some people that are very religious, some people that are conservative. Just don't agree with homosexuality. So when they see little Nas X on their TV kissing, yeah. you know what I mean? I it, thought it makes yeah. all of them react. I thought we were doing is like trying to protect the argument. Well, so sorry. in other words, like it's very easy to fall into these traps where you just blame a single community for a type of behavior. Yes. And if we're talking about yes. hip hop, regardless yes. if we think of it as just American music or not the general public is going to go, this is a black art form. We're speaking about black males. Absolutely. Mm. You even referenced it. You even said black males are homophobic, black males this. Absolutely. So I gave a right wing perspective, which is Ronald Reagan, right? Gotcha. And the joke is that, it's not a joke, it's a fucked up thing, is that, you know, they sold fucking Ronald Reagan, I think when cahoots with the fucking CIA is like dropping cocaine crack in crack in in the black community. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, but who else is selling crack in the black community? These gangster rappers that brag about all this weight that they push and blah blah blah. So it's the white man's fault. Well, yeah, you get, so you put the drugs there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to sell it. You know what I'm I mean, but 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 to, well, that's a whole other argument. But yeah, to, you didn't yeah. have to sell yeah, yeah, it. But that's a whole other debate because yeah, it's just like know. if you're poor and disenfranchised. That's a good and, point. But no, if you put it there. But if you just leave it. But no. If if you're poor and disenfranchised and there's no other opportunities, yes, of course yeah. you're gonna do drugs. Absolutely, you're gonna do it. it you're gonna sell it. Whatever. Well, my point is, I just don't know why people care about Little Nas X so much. God bless that brother, man. Like, why is that? Why did that make people so irate this week? Did it make them irate? Because it went viral. It's not even. They're so? not even irate. He went out. That's the thing. It's like I don't even think people are that angry at it. They just saw it. They reacted to it. And because Period. it's a hot button topic, yeah. the news outlets pick it up. Yep. Right. There could have been a shooting at the BET Awards this week, and I don't think you might have saw some videos of people like, "Yo, we got to stop." the violence or something like that but it wouldn't mm-hmm. have caused the type of vitriol like yo y'all got y'all can't be doing this you know what i'm saying y'all shooting at the bet awards you sending my kids the wrong message yada 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 like come on man come on yeah like let's not act let's not stand we're all standing on shaky moral high ground like, what I, would I, you I guess like it's something that you can do like what do you think the ideal reaction to it is I, to be honest with you i don't know because I saw it and I didn't think I'm just like boy that's a wild boy there here's a better question <laughs> that's all I said to my the below now that's a wild boy here's a better question uh, when Madonna and Britney Spears I think mm-hmm. I remember that made out it was Britney and um another girl was up there too I think it was Christina Aguilera Chris, but I think it was Britney and Madonna kissed. No, she kissed both of them. Oh, she kissed both of them. Yeah, whoever it was, she kissed both of them. I can't remember who the other person was, but she kissed both of them. Okay, so when that happened, I think there was like Christian pushback to that too. Ask me what I thought about that situation. I'll ask your hand. Ask me. (laughs) 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 What is it? I said, Madonna's a wild girl. That's a wild girl right there. (laughs) For real though, it's just like, Certain people push the envelope. Yeah. There's a there's a meme of this. I can't take credit for it, but it's something like this. Like, uh, you know, when I saw that uh, Madonna thing, with the kissing Britney Spears, like on one hand, I'm looking at this. There could be children watching this, and this could, you know, influence them to do certain mm-hmm. things that I don't think are morally, uh, <laughs> you know, responsible. And on the other hand, there was lotion. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, that right there shows the balance of life. Yeah, and that's yeah. exactly how people feel. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like so on one hand, you're like, well, the Bible said, but that's my whole point with all of this is you cannot stand on shaky moral high ground and be pointing the finger at. People. My whole point is, Little Nas X is not bothering nobody. How lit is the Bible that we're still going off of it today, man? That's super. Nah, lit. that Bible ain't no joke, bro. Nah, nah bro. but like, it really got power in it though. If you really use the right way. Some songs are trash after ten years, twenty years. Not that, that Bible. Been around for thousands. That yeah, Bible yeah. still and hitting slapped. bars over and over and over. And, and, and it's such an ill document because people ignore it when it comes to their own shit. And then, yeah. when it comes to other people's shit, no, <laughs> look right here, bro. <laughs> look right here. Yo, it says you shouldn't be doing yo, this. You shouldn't. You should. <laughs> thou. But you have violated. He every... said thou, not thou. thou. It say me. That's right. Thou. That's right. Not it didn't say thee. <laughs> it said thou. <laughs> thou shall not. Yep. It's like, come on, man. I want Nas. Listen, I like envelope pushes. Um, I don't even think Lil Nas is pushing the envelope. I just think Lil Nas is being Lil Nas because that's what he that's what he's into. He's a gay man, I, and and I, I, res- I I salute him for living his truth. You know, he I mean? knows the reaction he's gonna get, and that's why he does it. 
But at the same time, he's living his truth. So he's mm-hmm. like, if I live my truth and it has this reaction, that's a win-win. But like you think most you, people right. can't wait. Most people can't wait to stir some shit up, create some controversy. That's right. He just got to be himself. That's right. To create controversy. I do do people, you think it's him or the people around him who are doing that? No, it's I think him. it's him. Yeah. I think it's all him. Yes, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we ain't even we, we didn't even scratch the surface a little Nas X with Old Town Road. He did that record. It was a cool record. Peace. He got it off. But man, if you really if you're being honest, Lil Nas X elevated when he set himself free. Mm. <laughs> he would have still been, you know, in the closet trying to make but that records to just to, just to stay on. Mm. It wouldn't have been organic. It wouldn't have been authentic. Now that he's being his true authentic self, he get another number one record. He's making the videos he wants to make. That's what happened when you, he you does come the out being gay. You do. That's what happened. But I bet you you come out saying, telling anybody you eat pork, it's gonna go. It's gonna go less. Man, it's if, you, <laughs> if you get gay, you go up. You eat pork, you go down. I hide my plate every time. I put another plate on top, and I know I got pork on my plate. I really wish we had somebody from the LGBT community <laughs> in here right now to tell him how crazy the LGBT he LGBT community. It's like, God damn, are you trying to say that? I'm not even having this conversation. No, no, I'm, not even, I'm not even entertaining no, this. No, we need to talk about it. These people we pork are discriminated against, bro. Man, stop. They, <laughs> are. they can't get to heaven? Yo, God, why'd you make that animal so delicious if we can't eat it? Put it on a grill. Put barbecue sauce. Barbecue what? sauce. Deuteronomy 14.8 says... You should not touch the flesh of a dead pig. Nonetheless, so how you know that you don't know nothing about the gay thing? You going to hell, <laughs> wax? By your own logic, okay? You are going to hell. I'm God, he, God gonna forgive me for eating that pork? No, he not. Gonna, and I'm asking for forgiveness again. No, he not. So God gonna forgive for by your, your no doubt. He forgive it seven Hold times on. seven. What Listen, my to, my my, my, to my pop still me. You just went. So God, can we get? And then just, <laughs> you start speaking. You were speaking in tongues, bro. Yo, God took over in that moment. As long as you can ask for forgiveness. God had another wax in that listen, moment. I'm telling you. Listen, long as you can ask for forgiveness. Take the stand out this man. He's making it tough. Take the stand out this man. 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 Take it out of the man. Let it out. Take the evil spirit out of you. Boy, you want me to pass it so bad. That's why you got bald spots. You want to do it so bad. That's why he's bald. He's got to be rubbing on that head trying to get the sin out of him. That's why I got that bald spot. Exactly. Thank you, Take the sin out of this man. This man. Lord have mercy. I used to get a lot of prayer for real. My mom always used to tell him to go pray for me. Pray for that one. Listen, I want yeah. Lil Nas X to keep pushing the envelope. I want him to make out a pick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want, what if he I eat want pork? To make out with a pig. Yo, Lil Nas X eat pork. I bet you Lil Nas X don't eat pork. I bet you he don't. What does that make you? <laughs> Dude, what does that Learn make you? I'm half of him. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Just said it. You buy? No, because he do. No. <laughs> no, you are bi, dude. No, how am I bi? I'm bi pork. You're bi pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bi pork. You're bi pork, dude. Hey, Lil Nas X, you keep doing your thing, bro. Bless Okay, bro. I want to see. I ain't mad at you. I want you to, man, piss, keep pissing these people off. Because they just, hey, everybody's so full of shit yeah. when it comes to like just who does what and who does this and this person shouldn't do this, who this cares? person shouldn't do that. Like, that's my point. I don't get, like, I when I say I don't care, it's just like, bro, are y'all serious? Yeah. Let that man live his life. Yeah, bro. we all trying to figure it out, and you know what? I gotta applaud anybody who's living their truth. Live yeah, man. free, man. Be who you are. I'd rather man. you do like, that than kill yourself. A lot of people like just kill themselves. Think about that. Like, that's fucked up. That's, yeah. and honestly, they just come out. Honestly, the that's real. Hot. It's hot. That's in the real. That's real. It's bad. Climate change is real. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> you didn't hear what he said. Yo. If you heard what he said, what? it would make sense. He said it's hot in that closet. Oh, and, I said, it. and I said climate change is real because the temperature is sky high. Uh, yeah, we man. ain't got time for this shit, man. Yo, Be out, free. Man. For a second, bro. You know how they always like, he's just a left-wing mouthpiece hired by the Democratic Party. They be saying that about Charlamagne. I'm like, for a second, I'm like, I looked at you like, oh, wait, what the fuck? You just went from the gay project to the climate change that quick? <laughs> what else he we try need? Gun control? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all I'm simply saying is what Wax said is true. Yeah. When you can't be free, yeah. you kill yourself. Yeah, you Yo, kill A lot of people be doing that shit. I'm telling get accepted, you, man. let people be who they are when you uh, when you make people feel like they got to marginalize themselves, when you make people feel small, when you make people feel like they're not yeah. accepted, that's when they go out there and make permanent decisions based off temporary fear. Man, they're going to kill yeah. you, bro. So if I see... <laughs> they're going to kill you, bro. I don't give a damn. Because yesterday if, if, for your birthday, you dropping it like it's hot. 
Today, you're wearing a fucking female NBA jersey. Oh, let's about be clear. Hold on, hold on. How important about, hold on, hold on. it is to kiss dudes. Let's be clear. This ain't just no female NBA jersey. This is the motherfucking South Carolina legend, AJ motherfucking Asia Wilson. Yeah, okay? fire. Yeah. Asia yeah. is fire. Yeah, Asia got money. a statue in front of the Colonial Life yeah. Arena. And you money. know, I'm so, I'm, I'm rooting for everybody from South Carolina always. I haven't, I haven't seen you wore the uh, jersey of that lineman that played for <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> what lineman from South Carolina? What was that guy's name? Ooh. He was nice. He, oh, um, he went to Tampa Bay now. Ooh. Um, uh, he was nice. He, no, but she's from South Carolina. We know her peoples and oh, like yeah. this like right. family. Who's my, her yeah. brother Puff? Like yeah, I know, yeah, I, I know Asia. Like I played football with her brother. Like real. Yeah, I've been uh, watching Asia since yeah. she was in college at the University of South Carolina. Like she went to high school in South Carolina. Like she's uh, really a South Carolina legend. Yeah, I got a Chris yeah. Middleton jersey at the crib too. No, you don't. I didn't. I just didn't wear it because they lost last night. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Middleton from the A43. No, they Charleston, won. South he Carolina. began busy, though. Oh, the Bucks lost. <clears throat> what are you no, talking about? They won. Oh, knock it off. The Bucks lost last night. No, Trey Young went down with the and, ankle uh, injury. And so did Giannis. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking yes. two games ago. No. Giannis got his leg injured. Yeah, Holy last shit. night. The Hawks Giannis won last hurt? night. That was over. Yeah, yeah, it might be a wrap. Chris bro. Middleton's from the A43. He went to Portagal High, Port High School. In, oh, in Charleston, shit. South Carolina. Now, listen, I love seeing my Zion people from too. South Carolina prosper. You got Zion? No, nah, I don't got no Zion yet. Yeah, Zion. Only reason I don't got no Zion yet because it's Zion. But it's too popping. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he, I salute. I love Zion though. I salute yeah, him. Man. And he's and the difference is, and it's I'm not this I'm I'm South Carolina all day, the whole state, but that's upstate. Like Asia is from the metro. Columbia. No, she right there. She's I got literally. my own day in Columbia. You know what yeah, I'm saying? My right. wife went to the university what in day? South Carolina. Charlemagne the God Day. You know what I mean? There you do. That's what I was asking. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. He said, what day? I, what day, motherfucker? Like, like the of date. the month. Oh, uh, God. June. June. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought no. it was Juneteenth. No. Just, I'm nah. all about South Carolina, Carolina all day. That's my state, bro. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's not my back. You know what I mean? Yo, that's fucking broad. One day in the um, um, no, no, no. year. Nah, it's so, April something, man. One day April something, so, my ass. Yo, Sean, you know why I don't? I'm going to tell you something. You know why I don't? I'm going to tell you why I don't know the date. June 18th. No, no. I'm pretty sure it's definitely in April, but I've been trying to put together. A, hold on, uh, hold on. Watch that shit. Not even in April. I'm gonna go. Ahead. I'm gonna go. Ahead. Go. Keep no, telling your lie. I'm keep telling your lie. Together. I've been trying to put together. No, it's um, definitely. He definitely got it. Keep telling your lie, bro. <laughs> Keep, keep, telling your lie, bro. keep digging your grave, bro. <laughs> no, I've been keep trying to put. Your grave, I've been trying to put together a, a Charlemagne the God day for that day mm -hmm. since since I I got the day. And um, my 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 home girl, her name is uh, Michelle Austin. Um, God bless the dead. Michelle was the promotions director at Hot 1039 in Columbia, South Carolina. So she's been talking to me about putting it together. We were supposed to do something last year, and then COVID cool, hit. Peace. And then we was going. We couldn't do it this year because we were still like kind of in the pandemic. So 2022, and I'm still going to do it. But Michelle was like really, really, really orchestrating it and putting it together and everything else. So. You know, rest in peace to, um, to Michelle Austin. But it's definitely it's definitely in April. That Do you I know, know what day it is? Charlemagne the God Day, what day in uh, in in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina. What day is it? June 29th. Oh, it's not perfect. <laughs> Which is impressive that you forgot it. That's not because that's not the day. That's the day. Oh, June it's 29th. Not. It says Charlemagne. Is your I birthday, bro? No, it's not. I got the proclamation <laughs> at the house. He's not even talking. No. Well, you gotta ask them. They gave it to him. I got, I got the proclamation at the house. It's not in June. If it was my birthday, I would know. I wish it was my birthday. That'd be so easy. It oh, is yeah. your birthday, bro. No, bro, it's not. It better not be a birthday. It's not my birthday. I know for a fact it's not my birthday. It's in April. I got the proclamation at the house from I Stephen didn't remember. Benjamin. I don't think it's your birthday uh, either. Hey. No, it's not. What's <laughs> wrong <laughs> with you guys? It's actually yo, you don't April eighth. No, it's not. Yes, it it's is. Possible. You just it's made possible. that shit up. It's yo. April eighth. Yeah, it's possible. I'm looking at it right now. Look, because mm -hmm. I'm looking at when they gave me the award. So, how much like, do I got to donate to uh, university to get that shit? What? No, that's not. That wasn't from the school. That was from uh, Steve Benjamin, the mayor, the mayor of Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah, April eighth. April eighth is Charlemagne yeah, the God Day in Columbia, South Carolina. Next year, we're definitely doing something. Um, is that when they made you a Democratic operative? No, man. You are a Democratic operative, right? Um, it depends. Like you know, we had Secretary Pete on yesterday. They told me I was too hard on him. How? Wait a minute. What? This guy's so stupid. What? They told me I was too hard on him. What do you mean? I don't know. They said I was pressing him too much because, you know, my whole thing was saying to him, like, 
I mean, we was, we was having a great conversation, but it was just like- um, What was it about? A lot of different things. I asked him, I said, do you think that the, 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 the fate of, because they always say the, the democracy is at stake. So do you think America's democracy is at stake? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, how, how come Democrats don't act like it then? Because if something is at stake, yeah, for right? <laughs> if it's going to be the end of something as we know it. You'll put your all in. <laughs> Imagine if the Avengers were just sitting around like, oh, well, you know, man. If, the, if, the, if there was no sense of urgency at the end, in end game, House on fire. <laughs> you know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? If there was no sense of urgency in Infinity War, yeah. how would you be looking at the Avengers? Well, that's how that Miss Universe, what's the name of the girl? Oh, Captain Marvel. Pops in whenever she feels mm-hmm. like it. It's Captain gone. Marvel was the illest. Nah. Nah, I'll tell you why. Captain Marvel said the illest shit in all the end game, and people oh, forget about stop it. it. Stop it, stop it. When Don Cheeto goes, where the fuck have you been? And she goes, you know it's more than one planet out here in this solar system, and they don't have you motherfuckers. That's a perfectly great logical answer. Yeah. What are you talking about? You Why? got Thor here? The Incredible Why? Hulk? What y'all need me for? So that's what a husband's supposed to say to his wife. There's so many fucking girls out here. How you expect me to... All right. <laughs> <laughs> it made sense, right? Huh? I'm thinking I'm searching. <laughs> Hold on, <I'm> Dr. Strange in <laughs> it. Let me see. It's about 14 million different logical explanations for that. I guess. No. No, haven't found one. <laughs> Dr. Strange at least found one. I didn't find one in what you said just now. What'd you say? I'm saying, like you said, it was like there's so many other planets out here, so many other women out here. That's why mm-hmm. men go out. Nah, bro. Is that how you feel, Wax? Mm-mm. No, no, not at all. I'm, I'm happy. Mm-mm. I'm probably going to get married before you because like, I didn't know you were going to get married so fast. So I might, I want to beat you. I always wanted to beat you before you did that. Nah, you're not going to beat me, bro. Is that soon? He said December. December, bro. Oh, I ain't even hear that. My fuck when do you guys go on vacation, by the way? Next week. No, no, no. When you guys take care. Don't you take winter? Oh, yeah. I'm taking the mm-hmm. whole month of December off, bro. Oh, so you guys probably won't be able to be there. When is it? Uh, yeah, figure that out. December, is- December 18th. I thought I'm taking like- the whole month off. Oh, but I thought you usually go to Anguilla. No, I'm not going to my Anguilla for a month. I'll probably go to Anguilla like after Christmas. Yeah, yeah so when? Yeah, okay. So is it around or a destination is, is around? Uh, It will be on the West Coast. Okay, I'm not yeah. mad. Yeah. Not too big. You got it already planned big. out and everything? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. How, mu- how much work did you do on this? None of it. Okay. <laughs> now I don't feel so bad. You're not supposed to. I don't feel so bad. You're not supposed to. It's not our day. We got dressed like everybody That's else. That's right. That's right. right? You the only one in a white dress. I'm dressed like all my friends. Bruh. She said I could wear white tee, but I'm, I got the. You the, can't uh, wear white. Thing. Don't do that, man. Don't what wear are you white. Talking about? It's going to be dope. You put on a tie to go to court, but not for your wedding? I went I went to the court with a tie? Yes. No, I did not. You never went to yes, you Hell did. no, I did not. What'd you have on in court? I had a fucking, I had a black tee on. That was my You're thing. a liar. Oh, <laughs> He's a goddamn liar. No, I had do- some baggy, I had some baggy ass uh church pants. Um I had so <laughs> black tee. That's my dress shirt. No, I did, <laughs> I did, I did, I, I did have some shi- um slippery shoes though, but I didn't have a I had a black tee on. He's lying. You were there? No. No. But he had he on a shirt and tie. No, I did not go. When you were saying Amazing tie. Grace? I did not have a shirt and tie because I went with my coach. He, he, took, he took me from football practice. My coach took Man, me to court. Man, they should have put you in jail. He still went to court. They gave you a little light year. Or I can't believe you would disrespect the court like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I was tired of that shit, man. Yo. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you wore cleats? It was like, listen, whatever this charge is, you're going to take me, you're not going to take me. What you want? No, that's not true. You could have, you be, I mean, you did beat it. Praise the Lord. So it was all God. It's all God. Psalms 91. Well, I took guess me you know what? There, In boy. church, they say come as you are. So I guess it don't matter. So you, you know think I'm going to really act like that yeah, for Yeah, if that, you got an anointing on your life, you might as well. Praise the Lord. But for her, you should show her that. I yeah, care yeah, I'm, about I'm gonna you do something. She, I'm a, I'm a, like fuck people up, man. Come out there in the suit and tie. You know what I mean? A nice fitted joint. Everybody be like, oh man. shit, I never seen wax. You wore a tie. suit to his wedding. I know. You definitely did. You yeah. definitely got him. I didn't yeah, even you recognize did. you. Yeah. You did. You did. You did. I did. Yeah. You did. All right. And you didn't have your hat on. That was another thing. You know what? Had on. Don't tell her this because she's gonna. No, be call us right. He wore a suit. That's right. He definitely had a suit. I told you I could fit suits. That's right. All right. Do you it. look weird without a hat on too. Like you look yeah. different. And that yeah. and that yeah. frosty yeah. sweat. You had a suit and tie on. It did. Yeah. I didn't have a tie. Yes, you did. No, I didn't because they couldn't find a tie. Yes, you did because everybody was like, "Yo, they they they, they had were, a bet. They were betting <laughs> if tie if, if Wax would wear Tim's with his suit. Would he wear Tim's in the fitted with his suit? He kept the fitted on. He didn't wear the Tim's. No, no, I wore the Tim's. I had to fit it. You didn't have to fit it? I don't fucking remember. Yeah, people just want to see the ball spot. That's it. How big is it? Eh, it's Are you like, uh, Yo, put this back in the conversation about Lil Nas X later so we can, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have Schultz asking Wax how big it is. You know what I mean? 
just just so they don't sound too homophobic. Okay. <laughs> oh my homophobic. I'm not. I just don't care. I want him to go make out and shit. I want him to fucking do Biggie's Ten Crack Commandments over and really piss all of y'all the fuck off. And how would he do it? I don't know, but he can figure it out. Ten one Crack day eat Commandments. Pork. Number 10. Don't eat pork. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is number 10? He got the Ten Crack Commandments. Don't what? eat pork. It starts at 10, right? I don't know. I'm not yeah. playing If it's game. 10 Crack Commandments, I hope so. Well, maybe it starts at 1 and goes to 10. But no, let's... Uh, huh? Maybe it starts at one and goes to ten. One. How does it start off? Ten. Number ten. Oh yeah, it starts uh, off at ten. It goes down. It counts down. Ten. Uh, rule number uno. Rule number uno. Never what? No one know how much dough you hold. Okay, yeah, I guess it is one. You know, the jealousy. Credit, the, what is now? Nah, the there's some cheddar the jealousy, breeds. Jealousy. Nah, cheddar breeds, breeds jealousy. Yeah, the cheddar breeds jealousy. Number Get two. your ass fucked up. Let's salute to Biggie, man. We yeah, miss Biggie so up. much, man. Number one. Biggie, 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 balance things out. You know what I'm saying? Biggie, Biggie comes from an era where you could say, he, uh, she looks so good, I'll suck on her daddy's dick, and nobody flinched. Yo, nobody asked who he was looking at? I would love to know who that girl is. They love calling me gay. Ooh. <laughs> Guess who don't give a fuck? You. I bet you'd be mad somebody say you eat pork. No, I don't eat no pork. I would. That's what I'm trying to I say. Mo- but no, they call you gay, they don't say you suck dicks, and they don't say you take it in the they ass. They absolutely do. They say you suck dicks and take it in the ass? They absolutely do. Who's that? And you know what I do? <laughs> that's fucking words, come though. I need to read that. And you know what I do? What is it? Feed into it. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, man. I've been trolling people for years. I used to have the dolls behind you know That was hilarious. That was hilarious. Nobody, it was so funny watching people go crazy you know on my, YouTube. I, I, they was my people was mad at me, like, yo, bro, what's up, yo? <laughs> I used to have the two the male dolls in the back, the Envy doll and the Charlemagne doll, and have them in different sexual positions every, every interview. <laughs> And people would just, they would go crazy in the YouTube comments. I would never, (laughs) listen, I would never say anything about it. Just every day, it'd be right behind my shoulder. I'm on there just talking about whatever I want. I never mentioned them once. Real serious conversations too. Serious. (laughs) Serious. Yo, so much to the point. I had a whole storyline. I could put together a whole storyline of videos from them dolls. Because at the end, I had two, I put two girl dolls up there. It was a Diamond and Crime, Diamond and Princess doll from Crime Mob. And I put, I've been delivered. Hilarious. <laughs> and I had my arm Hilarious. around both dolls Hilarious. and put Envy off to the side looking sad. <laughs> I do shit like that. I don't give a fuck. That's why, that's why in a, in a, in a, in a I can understand why Lil Nas is doing that. Number one, that's who he is. Right. But number two, he's like, fuck y'all. Y'all gonna be mad anyway. Let me throw the shit out y'all motherfuckers. Money, Rule number one. Uh, let's pay some bills, Alex. All right, guys, we need to take a break for a second because uh, we need to make sure that you're delivering the best dick possible. And the way you're gonna do that is with Blue Chew. This is a no-brainer, okay? You want to satisfy your wife. You want to satisfy your girlfriend. You want to satisfy your side chick. You're gonna do it with the Chew. Same active ingredients as inside Viagra or Cialis. But with the Chew, the one that we use, you are delivering that prime time dangalang all night long, okay? And this is what you're going to do. You're going to get it for free. That's right. Best dick of your life you get for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping, okay? You go to bluechew.com, Al. They're going to go to bluechew.com and make sure that you use the promo code IDIOTS, okay? It's IDIOTS, bluechew.com, promo code IDIOTS, and you are going to get that shit for free, all you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Enjoy. Ladies, you enjoy. Let's get back to the show. That blue chew. Well, no, let's do some Freshly, man. Oh, let's yeah, talk let's about do that. Freshly. Freshly pulled up on the Brilliant Idiots. You know what I mean? Because they rock with the show and rock with what we're doing. So uh, we're all trying to get in shape and eat right, right? Even though it's already summer. You should have been there already. You know, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. But Freshly can help. Their delicious meals are designed by nutritionists and cooked by chefs, making it easier to eat better. Grocery shopping and cooking can be a pain, especially right now. And with Freshly, you don't have to. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week so you can keep your fridge stocked and skip the trip to the store. Ordering is easy. Visit Freshly.com and choose from over 30 delicious, satisfying, better for you meals like steak, peppercorn, sausage, baked panini, or their chicken pesto bowl. Freshly can fit your lifestyle with a variety of plans and meals to pick from that. Work for your dietary needs, preferences, tastes, and family size. And now 
Our listeners can try Freshly for just six sixteen per meal. Stop searching the internet for healthy food near me every night and start living life freshly. Your meals are always delivered fresh, never frozen, and are ready to heat and enjoy in just three minutes. With new meals added each week, Freshly brings the convenience of chef-made nutritionist design classics right to your kitchen. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders when you go to Freshly.com slash idiots. Stop stressing about dinner. Go to Freshly.com slash idiots for $40 off your first two orders. That's Freshly.com slash idiots for $40 off your first two orders. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, do we have church announcements? Don't we have one more? Matter of fact. You want to do all three? I think just to have them done. Do it. Do it. All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second because uh, we need to talk to you about mental health. Oh, man, let me handle this one. Oh, shit, Sean, come take it now. away, come my bro. Now. We come got the OG. Now. Come on now. <laughs> oh, come on now. All right? Uh, the world is racing to get back to normal, okay, and start meeting up in person again. We're doing that, and that is actually good. That is actually good for our mental health. Fellowship is very important, all right? After the year we've had, getting back to feeling normal takes time, okay? But while we was on lockdown during the pandemic, I know for a fact that telehealth shot through the roof and a lot of people were doing Zoom calls with their therapists and a lot of people were using Talkspace, okay? A lot of people were using Talkspace, all right? People were overwhelmed by it all and, you know, they weren't alone. So it was very important to find the support that we all needed and Talkspace provided that. Whether you were a parent, student, millennial, or just someone having a hard day, Talkspace provided and still can provide the support to help you feel better with a single message, okay? Set goals with your therapist and they can help you make sure that you're progressing, all right? Talkspace works around your schedule at your convenience. Send and receive unlimited messages with your dedicated therapist in the app. Stop wasting, you know, how you're feeling with the group chat. Talk to somebody that can actually help you, okay? And whether you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, Talkspace is the number one online therapy platform to help you sort through any issue. Talkspace therapists are experts in dozens of specialties, anxiety, depression, relationships, and more to help you start feeling better, okay? Start feeling better with a single message. Match with a licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with the promo code IDIOTS. That's $100 off when you use code IDIOTS at Talkspace.com. Let's get back to the show. Church announcement show, T. Yo, um, the Infamous Tour. Go get them tickets. We just uh, released tickets for San Francisco. That show's closest sold out. Mm -hmm. uh, Vegas. Go check out Vegas. Um, we're going to be adding more. I think we had another one in San Diego. Uh, the first one got sold out, man. Thank you guys so much for coming to these shows and supporting everything. And the, uh, the special tapings in Austin are all sold out, but we're going to see, maybe we add another one there. News to come next week. Uh, thank y'all so much, man. I really appreciate it. And yeah, this tour is going to be wild. So I'm excited for y'all to see. Waxy, you got some, uh, yes, church announcements? Um, uh, all my, uh, all, uh, uh, my herbs is out there and, um, uh, LA, please go get that. And I also have the 4th of July sale for my lemonades. Uh, only I do is go to uh, Wax 4th of July and get 25% off. You know what I'm saying? Go to whoswax.net and go get some of that lemonade y'all need. You a sellout, bro. You ain't do no Ooh. wax Juneteenth. You know, I don't even that. know it's all about anyway. It's just listen, at the end of the day, we're going to get more and more lemonade. So it's going to be a, a day what for wax. What discount would you give for Juneteenth? Like Juneteenth? Who's black? Who's black with who's wax? <laughs> listen, I, a Juneteenth, like I give a first hundred off. Matter of fact, if you put a cold Juneteenth. Is Juneteenth it is? Oh, Lord have mercy. How late are you, dude? <laughs> man, it's a new holiday, man. Listen, I, I, ain't, I, ain't holiday. Even get, I ain't even get with the old holidays. How am I going to get with the new holidays? A new holiday, right? You knew 4th of July. Because look how long it's been. <laughs> That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just going with it. If, you want me if, to remember in Kwanzaa? <laughs> okay, you over can't Christmas. remember your <laughs> own holiday. Uh, April, um... Exactly. Stop. Stop. April 8th, baby. Stop. 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 This guy can't remember his April own, own holiday. You know what I'm God Day, Columbia, South Carolina. Listen, uh, BlackEffect.com. Make sure you go to BlackEffect.com. Subscribe to all the podcasts we got on the Black Effect. Uh, we launched uh, the What Podcast. Um, with, with, with Nyla Simone and Mouse Jones, um, executive produced hey. by Darren Byrne. Hey. You know, our guy D Block, you know, D Block was very instrumental in our MTV2 careers, you know, way back when. So, salute up my guy D Block. And uh, make sure you go get We've Got Answers on Audible. Salute to 
my, my people's at Audible, my partner's at Audible, great folks over there. We've Got Answers is an audio book I put out a couple months ago. Basically, any question that uh, white people would have towards black people, it's it can be answered on We've Got Answers. I mean, we got everybody on there from, you know, Tamika Mallory to Nina Turner to Teslin Figaro to David Banner to New York City's next mayor, Eric Adams. I think he's going to be the next mayor. I don't know what the hell's going on. I saw something this morning about they had a bunch of fake ballots they had to throw out. Come on, man. Or, 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 <laughs> What was it? They, they had what they have tryout ballots yeah, or some shit like that. Either. I read something this morning. Oh, Test they, ballots, yeah. and it was like a hundred oh, and something. Now, now y'all believe in fake ballots? Man, I oh. don't know what's going on. I just, no, they said it was test ballots. Oh, I don't know what the hell's I going see. on. Now the election's rigged. I see. I what do you mean? The election been rigged since Trump won? Uh, <laughs> what so you trying to say Trump didn't do that? <laughs> the election been rigged since Trump won. <laughs> but uh, what else? Um, oh. Uh, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built, bestseller. It's out right now on Black oh. Privilege Publishing. And this beauty right here, man, August 3rd, Shallow Waters, Anita Kopax, okay? And this stirring and lyrical debut novel, perfect for fans of The Water Dancer and the Legacy of Orisha series, the Yoruba deity of the sea, Yemiya, is brought to vivid life as she discovers the power of Black resilience, love, and feminine strength in antebellum America. This will be out August 3rd on Black Privilege Publishing, everywhere you buy books, but you can pre-order now. Shallow Waters by Anita Kopax. Now. God, right, boy. You, you, you could sell some books. You make me want to read. Hey, man. You know. I ain't do it yet, but you make me want to read the way you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I, I picked up a book and I said, why? Who doesn't want to <laughs> read books? I don't, I don't I ain't do nothing to me yet. I don't. I mean, I my, my mother was an English teacher. Peace. You know what I'm saying? So she kept yeah. the book in my face. And she was a Jehovah Witness. So if I wasn't reading my book of Bible stories or something out of the Bible, it was that the, go go get something from the library. And we had the Book It program. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. You had to read four books to get a free pizza. So my mama was like, yo, make sure you read things that don't pertain to you. And I like pizza. So I used to run through a bunch of books. I like to read. I'm reading... Right I'm now, I'm reading. I'm uh, so let's happy talk I about read. the news. No, no, no. Let's talk about the other shit. What is that? We got you a cake. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Potato Absolutely. Hey, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. I'm a white homie saying the Stevie Wonder version. And none of my black homies saying the Stevie happy Wonder version. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm mumming this one. Happy birthday. Hey. Do the old fashioned one. Happy birthday to you. Boom. Happy birthday to you. Boom. Happy birthday, dear Charlemagne the God. Leonard. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Thank y'all. Light a blunt wax. I'm about to. Yo, no can we get some forks and knives? Oh, I got to jump. I got to jump on this Zoom, man. I was wondering, Yo, bro, like, what, what type of cake is that? What type of cake is that? I forgot I had to get on this I Zoom real cake. quick. Oh, it's ice cream. Oh. Ice cream. Oh, mm. oh it's with cookie dough. Hold That's on. fine. Thank you for the cake, man. Yo, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. You know, I want. I was talking to y'all earlier. You know, we had Ebony Williams on the show. Our, our homie, Ebony Williams, she's the host of the Peace. Holding Court podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. First um, first black housewife on The Real Housewives in New York. This is a very sharp, sharp young lady. And I love the conversation that Ebony had. I'm actually going to send it to you, Alex, so you can, you know, uh, insert it. But basically, Ebony said she would be the type of wife that would curate the house, make sure the house looks good, make sure the house... Smells good. Make sure the house is always clean. You'd have a hot mm -hmm. meal every day. Respect. You know what I mean? Everything. She would hold everything down at the house, but she don't want to pay no bills. She was like, I don't want to pay not a lick of mortgage because if I'm doing everything the wife is supposed to do, you're the husband. That's what you're supposed to do. What if I that? hire someone to do all the things that she just said? Well, yeah, like, what if want, I hire the companionship though? What if I hire a personal chef? What if I hire a cleaning lady? You would say even with that, even with that, your wife, I believe, would still be holding down certain things just yeah. because that's just what wives do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because guess what? Everybody needs a supervisor. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Manager, so he, exactly. So yeah. even if you're hiring those people to do certain things, the woman in the house still has to dictate what yes. needs to be done where. I guess it depends on what the house looks like. 
Like at a certain point in time, there's diminishing returns for like cleaning the house and cooking. Like if you got a one bedroom apartment and you cook clean, <laughs> take care of everything, yeah, groceries yeah, yeah, yeah. there, we're good. She also said yeah. kids too. And, and what the ill thing that she well, said- kids is different. She, she don't said, have any kids, so we don't know if that's but true. That, but, but listen, but this, said, this yeah. the ill thing she said. She didn't just say her kids, she said your kids. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. So she said your kids, po possibly your kids. So yeah. you might come in with kids. Yeah. If she's right. willing to hold that down. I'm just saying like, if we're living Jeez. in like a $25 million mansion, if you think it's an even exchange for like preparing my scrambled eggs in the morning and me buying a $25 million mansion, like you got something off. Yeah, but guess what? You're lying to yourself. Every man lies to himself. You Would you rather have the $25 million mansion or a bad woman? $25 million. You're a liar. Because nah. that mansion comes with bad women. But yeah. that's the point. Either way, you still want the woman. You're still going to get a woman there. And you want, you're not going to want something just to smash all of it. Nah, no, you, I'll you take my that. wife over anything. For sure. I thought we just talking. Well, you said bad woman. I thought you just meant like. That's what I mean. Your wife is a bad oh, woman. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you meant just like a bad. I thought you were afraid to say bad bitch. No, no, no. Your wife really? is a bad woman. Of course, of course, of course, of yeah. course, of course, of course, course. No, no, no. I hear what you're saying. Like, I don't know. I, I personally like that. I just don't. I like that. A, equation i love being taken care of i think it's a really mm -hmm. amazing situation and really honestly like it taps into my heart like if a girl takes care of me and she wants me to be taking yeah, my girl takes care role. of me she wants and that's me why you take care, care of her mm -hmm. absolutely 100%. that's why you take care of that mortgage and the bills mm -hmm. and everything hey, else the reason i like what ebony said is because it was ebony saying it because mm -hmm. you always hear the chick that ain't got nothing yeah talking about how, you know, she want a man to take care of Oh, everything. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, that's interesting. It's always the chick who can't take care of themselves that's saying they want a man to take care of everything. Did you, did you hear that yeah, dizzy fucking chick the other day on, uh, it was going viral a little bit, and she was like, her ex put her in a new apartment, but he got to keep paying for it because he brought her up to a new lifestyle, and he, and he can't just take her away from that new lifestyle since... Now, ex what? Ex-boyfriend. Yikes. Oh no, ex boyfriend! No way, ex boyfriend! You don't owe that. Nothing. Ex husband, right? Though ex, you, ex, you saw the clip I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I saw the clip. Yeah. Ex husband, yes. Yes. Ex boyfriend, ex no. no. Wait, 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 hold on. Ex husband, if we're married and then we become divorced, I still got to pay your bills. If you brought me to yes. this lifestyle, yes. That's 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 actually that's actually. So you gonna happened. make her go back to the ghetto or the projects or wherever she was going? Oh yeah, at? you gotta talk. Yes. To, you, no, 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 no. You nah, gotta talk coming to after people. you. No, no, you can't even do that. And like, you have me in a mansion. Yeah, I'm not gonna say who it is, but I'll tell you after the pod. But I was. I was at this person's really big plush house and they were like, yeah, my wife got the same kind of house right down the street. And I'm like, really? And they was like, yeah, because, you know, when when you get a divorce, when she goes to court, she has you, she has to maintain. she has to maintain the same mm -hmm. lifestyle that yes. you did, especially being that they got young kids. You can't you can't do that. Why? Can't I don't know. Kids. That's, that's Mommy house is, is over there and daddy house is over here. Ain't gonna do it. Where's the patriarchy when it comes to this shit? Hey man, you you just, double just, standards, baby. That's right. This guy, this guy lived a certain lifestyle. His wife was with him. They had kids. You can't scale down. But well, it's, it speaks yeah. to kind of what Ebony says because she says she'll work. I mean, she'll stop working and take care of the house. So it's like she had to sacrifice her career. Okay, sure. that's true. That's a good point. So that's sure. another now, I don't know if Ebony said that, but yeah, you know, I, hear that I like either. that. I like I like when you took the conversation. I like I like that logic, but these <laughs> rules. <laughs> these, I know she said that. No, these rules either. were put in place when women weren't working. But I like that idea. Like, if you come up with somebody, I don't see why they shouldn't have half. Oh, you know but that, mean? like, that, if, that, if, yeah. God forbid, don't even put it out there. But we yeah, know. God you're forbid, saying, yeah. me and my wife ever got divorced, which will never happen. I hope not. But God forbid, right? Yes. Absolutely take half. Yeah. She been with me for 23 yeah. years. Because you helped build the whole thing. Yeah, 100%. If you there. marry some girl, it doesn't work out after a year, and now you got to keep nah. this girl in a mansion nah. for the rest? Like, that's crazy. Nah. We want prenup. We, we want, want prenup. prenup. Hell yeah. But I, 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 I think you should go in with a prenup and then take the prenup after like five years, six years. Take nah, away, nah. Don't ever take it away. I knew a nah. guy who did that. Nah. Oh, yeah? Guy, he ripped it up after their like second kid or third kid. He was like, nah. You know, so, you deserve well, half. Different. If you do it, I give you half. You that's know what different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Second, third that's kid different. Because it's yeah. like- Five years, two yeah. kids. You're yeah. going to want, want her to be good. You're going to want the kid kids. to be good. Whatever. That's kind of interesting. The idea like all, I mean, they we kind of have a prenup built into a lot of marriages, right? Like, I think they say that if you're married less than a year, it's annulled or something like that, or less than a month. Mm -hmm. Oh, what Kim Kardashian did. Was that it? She got one of her marriages annulled. 
Mm. I think that's. I think it was like right before they supposed to be like locked in. She she got out exactly. So now Mm. nobody gets anything. So it's almost like the law understands. Sometimes you make a mistake, so we're gonna give you a little room to see if you made the mistake. Mm -hmm. And what you're basically saying is, well, why don't you give me a little bit more room than that? Let's do a five year period where everybody had a prenup, and if you make it past that five years. It's like, hopefully by then you got a family. You guys have invested in different things. Yes. You put time into your businesses, yeah, your look, life. She deserves some of that. Man. I love that, but it's a lot of different circumstances that have to be involved. Mm. Like you said, two or three kids, man. Yeah. Five years, you know what I'm saying? We don't got no kids. Even if you get one, I ain't giving you half. You don't need half. of. If I got a billion dollars, why do you need half of my billion dollars to get quarter. one kid? Oh, that's another thing. Like, we got it. Like, there's limits for how much athletes get paid, but not wives. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> salary cap. Yeah, what a goddamn salary, salary cap, right? Like, think about that. Well, like, right if, 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 if 30 million is enough for LeBron now, like, that's an, if, the, if the NBA says that's enough for LeBron to make, he shouldn't make any more than 30 yeah, million. Yeah, how yeah. the fuck can Jeff Bezos' wife make? Eight billion or whatever the fuck it is. Now she started the company with him, and I understand that she was like yeah. doing instrumental and in building it, so she deserves hers on that level. I'm not saying she's not, mm-hmm. but maybe there's a better example of, of of a wife that did not do that. She married a super rich guy, and now he got to hit her off with hundreds of millions of dollars. It's like, come day, on, bro. bro. You the wildest thing I saw was Dr. Dre's wife asking for money, come on. all this money. But I don't care about the money part. It was the I want money for charity. You're already getting your charity. Take the million dollars. You're charity. You're charity. You're charity. Mm-hmm. You want me to give you money to give to charity? Oh. So who gets the karma? Who gets the blessing? <laughs> Do you get the blessing? Because it's my money. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving you money to give yeah. to charity. Like yeah. Jeff Bezos' wife, she got the money. She uses that money that she got to give to charity. Yeah, yeah. Donate to a lot of them. Why would I need to pay you to donate to charity? Yeah, That was wild. That I don't know if she won that. But just the request was wild. She's yeah. doing a lot. She just want to hit him anywhere. Bad lawyer or just somebody who's greedy. She just want to get as much as possible. Just as much as possible. Being greedy. You ain't got to be like that. Get out the way. But I, I do respect what, I respect what Ebony said. I think what Ebony said was very clear and it was very fair. And the key thing that she said was, this is what I think. She wasn't making no generalizations. Mm. She was like, if, if I, she said, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And this is what I want you to do. And I, I don't have a problem with that because I think a man's job is to protect and provide. Yes. Yeah. I, and, I, and I've been on both sides. You know what I'm saying? When I first got fired from Wendy Williams' show back in the day, I was too proud to go collect unemployment. I was at home with my oldest daughter when she was born because I got fired in November 2008. She was born June 2008. I stayed home with my baby while my wife went to work. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? When Bill, when we got behind Blessings. on bills and, you know, we was late on rent. She's the one that had to go stand in front of the courtroom and let the courtroom know why we weren't able to pay our bills in that Really? Yeah, hell yeah. My wife held it all the way down. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, for me, it's like Dude. now tables have turned in a very significant way. I don't want her to do nothing. What she does you- her personal training on the side and she holds it down. She holds down the house. She's the CEO of the house. That's what she does. I, look, job. I love that too. And I think it's like unfortunate I think here's the the, the big misconception is that men are not supportive of a woman who wants to take care of the house and take care of the kids. Very big. We absolutely are. A hundred percent. I love it. I think the pushback comes when like there's an entitlement, especially from woman who doesn't even have kids with you Mm -hmm. and feels like they deserve this treatment because they're with you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody deserves anything. Like we both play roles in the relationship. That's right. And like, you're not doing me a favor. By, by taking care of the job. house. I'm not doing you a favor by working. We both work together to that's build right. this that's shit. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. So I think that's where we get a little bit resentful. For. It's like, well, I don't tell you every single day. You know what I did? I worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I don't need the thank you. I don't need none of that. And you, I, but you get to go outside, though. <laughs> you get to you, see your you friends. Free, you get to, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I can't see my friends at work, except that's what I do for work. Yeah, and I think, <laughs> and, and I think we should respect the fact, you know, of, 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 of a woman who can do her own thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If a woman can do her own thing, if a and woman can make her home. own money, if a woman's already educated and she's choosing Yo, that's, that's to play the role huge. of the yeah. of the housewife and she's like, you know what? You want me to cool out and kick yeah. it at the house and take care of the house, take care of the kids? You got to respect that. Because yes. she's literally giving up her yes. dreams yes. and aspirations yeah. to hold it down for the family. That's the ultimate sacrifice. 100%. You know what I mean? And guess what? If I could do it, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't sit your ass down somewhere? I don't think. I don't know. Nah, me neither. Nah, but I, can't, I ain't going to lie to you. Because I see what she's doing and I cannot do it. Like, it's a superwoman. Nah. There's no yeah, way. I, I was going to go crazy over 
Her taking too long, she said she's going to take a shower. She was on the phone for like 15 minutes before she went in the shower. I was catching that whole attitude. Like you Locked said you were taking a shower, so yeah. I, I'm i already timing you. <laughs> you 22 minutes or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. When they go past that 22 minutes, hey! <laughs> hey, man. I, t- I, 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 I tried to say it on this podcast a few weeks ago. It's just a thing that women have with the kids Blessings, that men man. don't have. God and bless guess what? God bless I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. My five-year-old and two-year-old abuse me. <laughs> and I'm screaming for help. I, I'm no. I love I love my baby. I love them, but no. I really can't do it yet. I mean, nah, man. Give me no. a little couple more years. I promise you I got you. We can go do things together. When they like, older? Peace. Cool. You know what I'm saying? When they babies and five and two, it's like, I'm not built for it. Daddy ain't built for How many times I'm going to do this? What did you do during that time where you were unemployed <laughs> and then you guys were kind of struggling where you were like, trying to get a job? Stupidest shit in the world. Turning Ghostface on. Ghostface music, Soul Child song, Love. <laughs> that where the baby would start crying. I'm like, hey, no, no, not to take care of the baby. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, like, to get a job. Like, what, what, like, were you scrambling? Did you ever think about not following your passion in, in man, radio? Great, like, oh, no, I was, um, I, yo, man, I was just waiting on God. I knew what it was. Like in my, in my life, I, that's 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 been that's been my life, and that's what I tell people all the time. You get to a certain point that when you look back, you know whatever setback, you know what I'm saying, happens in your life is just like, all right, I know God got something greater, and that's that's literally what I was doing. I was just sitting back. My daughter was born in June. Wife was going to work. I'm gonna sit here with with, with my with my baby, and I'm gonna just wait on God. And at that time, that was 2008. I I just had got on Twitter. Cause I remember those days vividly because Duval kept telling me, get on Twitter, get on Twitter, get on Twitter. I'm like, what the hell is Twitter? So I tried it and I didn't know they had at replies. So I would tweet and be like, man, this shit is whack, man. Like y'all, all you do is just talk to yourself all day. And he was like, bro, hit the at. I'm like, what the hell is the at? He was like, that little squirrely, you know, Duval said, that little squirrely sign shit. Looks like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> so I, I, hit, <laughs> I hit it. Oh, I'm fine. And I'm like, oh shit. And then you, you get to see all these people that fuck, that fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And people that, Miss you because you ain't on the radio no more. I'm like, oh wow. I still ain't know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I remember seeing Emma Angela. You was in my mentions, and I'm like, oh shit, Angela E. Hit her up. I just hit her, and she was like, yo, come on my radio show. That's when she was doing uh, Shay 45 Morning Show. So that that time I was, I was fired. I, I think I went up to her show like a couple of times. Get out of here. Yeah, to do satellite radio, and then I mean between that and Wendy show, that's when I got the call to come do morning radio in Philadelphia. So between that and Wendy's show, so after you- no, but between Wendy's show and Philly, yeah, I ended up yeah between Wendy's show, I was at home with my first daughter, and then I ended up going to do morning radio in Philadelphia. And then how much time passed? Mm, from November, from like November, I was I was fired from November two thousand nine to May of two thousand ten. Oh, wow. So a significant amount of oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I was at home for like five, six months. And were you like trying to get a job? Were you calling well, people? Well, we had, it was social media at that time. So social media was the thing. So we'd be tech, you know, we'd be tweeting. And um, like I said, I would go up to, I would go up to Angela's show. I went up to Angela's show a couple of times this year, 45. I think me, me and Duval were still doing Hood State of the Union. Uh, you know what I mean? So stuff like that was out there. It wasn't like, you know, my, 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 my voice wasn't, wasn't being heard. It just wasn't radio yeah and then i ended up getting the gig in philly and what was so great about the gig in philly now i understood how to use the internet so when i was doing my interviews in philly Mm -hmm. i knew what websites to send them to i knew where to post them and that's why that stuff would go viral so i did i had like the interview with cassie and uh red cafe that went crazy viral i had another interview the the beanie Siegel. that's the one that's the last interview i did before i get fired that went crazy viral. so i just knew how to utilize the internet freeway ricky ross he was another one i interviewed him in philly Put that out online. So I, I understood how to use utilize the internet. So so that time I was off helped me to understand the internet in a real way. And then went to Philly and used it a lot. And okay, that's what ended up getting me on Power 105. You got fired for in Philly. Yeah. And then you're you're again unemployed. Oh yeah, I had to go back home. I had to go back home and live with mom then. How long? So I was there for a year. Really? A whole year. And did you immediately go back home? Yeah. Cause we had got a we had we had already cleaned out the house because I cleaned out the apartment to move to Philadelphia to do radio. And then you got fired. The day, day of. The day of. I had all my shit in the car. I asked Duval because I picked Duval up from the airport. 
And I had got, had, no, I had got fired. Mm -hmm. I could have had all my stuff in because after work, I was going to go take some stuff over to the house. I got fired. I think that Monday I picked Duvall up and, you know, it was a big story that I got fired that Monday. It went crazy viral, right? <laughs> Duvall, so Duvall getting there. Duvall goes, damn, my dog homeless, man. He said, man, what you need, man? He said, my dog homeless, man. I'm like, bro, I'm not homeless. And I'm explaining the story to him. He was like, bro, I'm your friend, bro. You don't got to lie to me, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm telling him the truth. And so, yeah, we left. I, we, stayed with, we stayed with my, um, my wife's Grandma in Coney Island for a little while, and we was out. Drove down to South Carolina. Really? And that's when I took my ass to that goddamn unemployment office. And since I had been fired four times, I got $1,100 for a week for a whole year, baby. Wow. Man, get out of here. Oh, man, I had four firings. I got so fired from radio fired, four you get times. more money? Huh? Oh, I, I, no, I never money? collected unemployment because you ever. you got unemployment from each one. Every single oh. place. I never collected unemployment So you're back ever. home. You're getting yep. $1,000, $1,100 $1, a, a week, week, which is, you can live well down there for oh, $1,100 a week. I was living with my mom. And you're living at home in a trailer? No, it's just, just my mom had a house by then. This is okay. 2000. Uh, You've been telling this trailer story 10? for so long. We've been that moved out the trailer. My dad had been built a, a home for my mom. Okay, but, so, so then... Uh, you go and you're in this, so you're in this house, you're living with your mom, your wife is also living there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your daughter. Hey man, thanks for never reading Black Privilege, bro. I appreciate it. I you, read the man. whole thing on twice speed. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I read the whole thing on 2X. You listened to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well, Who I must have spent past this fucking part. Got you, got you, got you. But I, I did the whole thing in 2X yeah, yeah, yeah. the first week and it came out. Thank you. I did not read the second one. It had none of this in there. Well, that's why. But I did <laughs> listen to the first one in two X. Got you, got you, got you. I remember being in my hotel room mm -hmm. and listening to it. Anyway, um, but I don't know. It's just fascinating to me. Like you just kept doing the same thing that you kept getting fired from. Because it was, I call it divine misdirection. That's why I tell people like, sometimes you can be doing everything right and things may not go the way you want them. I'm not tripping. I just always know in my life that God has something better. That's literally been the story of my life. back on radio? because of the stuff I had been doing prior. And then I was, I was down in, you know, Monk's Corner for a year, but I had been on Wendy's show for, what, two and a half Resume. years. I was in Philly for, like, 10 months. Okay, so you had a pedigree, and you're like, fuck it, someone's going to Me and Duval that. was still doing Hood State of the Union. So you, know you were I mean? still part of the culture. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I remember me and Jason Lee, we did a, a, a demo for a show called The Funeral. I think it was me, Jason Lee, and Claudia Jordan. Like, it was a lot of things. It was things that were still going on. Plus, it literally was social media. Mm -hmm. At that point, 2010, social media kept you in the conversation. That's another thing, because there was mm -hmm. one platform. We were all on it. That's like, right. Twitter. That's God. right. That's right. Is, is that when you did that music video about pink shirts? No, that was, no, I was on the radio was, in uh, Columbia. Christ. That was... Pfft. I saw that on Reddit the other day. I was like, oh, three. He put it up? Yeah. <laughs> Wax in the video, he, he slammed somebody. Yeah, the beat the, do the guy. He slammed having... Timmy Tim in the pink shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like an actual fight or not? Nah, just, nah, nah. We was just, it was the, whole, the whole point of the video was how men shouldn't wear pink. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so at the end of the video, waxing like I think Powder might have yeah, been there too. So. They all grabbed Timmy Tim and slam him. <laughs> to get him out of there. <laughs> Wedgie. Ugh, stupid. But yeah, that was like 03, 02, 03. Did you ever have any time when you were doing The Breakfast Club where you were about to do something wild on the radio and you're like, man, I don't want to be fired again, man? No. Really? Because it was all about survival. From, from, from that, from, from two, th when I got on Breakfast Club, it was just like, I'm going out, guns are blazing. They will never forget my name. <laughs> That's why it's all this wild, stupid shit out there right now. Because it was all about survival for me. I was, I know it was guns of fucking blaze but some people might look at survival as hey if i play this a little bit towards the middle nah and, i couldn't play it I'll safe i had to bust safe. i had to bust new york marching. city's ass we was coming in and we were going up against the legendary hot 97 mm -hmm. and it was like no i had to shoot yeah, it wasn't right no, i couldn't why would play it safe for mm -hmm. no i felt like if i played it safe i wouldn't have gotten to where i've gotten to and I'll you know what go I, yeah and i was right and i had to shoot I had to shoot, like shoot in a big way, kick the fucking table over. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. And, you know, it's everything. Everything happens for a reason. That's why I can't like, I don't sit here and regret anything. I used to, but I think that's when I was, uh, that's when I wasn't like comfortable with all parts of myself. You know what I'm saying? 
And it's like now I'm comfortable with all parts of myself and all versions of myself because mm. I've gotten to a different place of healing and wholeness, to be totally mm. honest. So it's yes. like, I can't run from that. Like I like what people, if people want to weaponize the old me versus the new me, cool. Because guess what? That old part of me played a role. That old part of me had a purpose too. You mm. know what I'm saying? And you can't get me now without having me then. And I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that version of me then. Mm. So it's just like, yo, I bring that guy with me now too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Uh -huh. Now rock with me while I go live the rest of my life. You know what mm. I'm saying? You sit over here. You might, you needed some healing anyway. You, <laughs> yeah, word, yeah you was broken, down, bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? You was broken. You was, you know, you had a lot of insecurities. You had a lot of trauma you didn't deal with. We're going we gonna to work through all of this together. Because mm. you can't shun any version of yourself. Right. You can't. None of nobody in this room. I'm talking about the Appreciate the five year old version of you, the teenage version of you, the twenty year old version of you, the versions of you that you didn't like. You can't suppress none of that. And if you ever wonder why certain things keep coming back up, certain certain traumas still trigger you, it's because you haven't healed those versions of yourself that still fucking exist within yeah. you. It's really interesting your story because most people would look at it and be like, uh, "There's there's a uh, there's a common." phrase right it's like uh if you're repeating the same thing expecting a different result you're crazy yeah mm -hmm. you about, basically yeah. were crazy until it worked well no insanity insane. insanity insane. is it's doing the same thing over and over, over and over and expecting different results here's the thing those four times i got fired was all for different reasons and a lot of most most of those reasons had nothing to do with me ah when i got fired from hot 98.9 in charleston south carolina my man Corey hill they bought in a new program director he wanted to hire new people. That was just the business. It didn't matter what my ratings uh, were. I got to bring in my team. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Plus, when we sat down and had a conversation, I wasn't fucking with this dude. No way. And I was, I was super cocky, arrogant. Fuck you. Who are you? Who are you? You know what I mean? And he was white. Hey, fuck out of here, Corey Hill. But that's my guy. You know, I got nothing but love and respect for Corey Hill. <laughs> then I go to fucking um, the Big DM in Columbia, South Carolina. You know yeah. what I mean? Big DM in Columbia, South Carolina. The station flip formats. And then I can do about that. Right. You know what I mean? Then I go to Hot 1039 in Columbia, South Carolina. I end up getting with Wendy. My program director time, Chris Connors, is like, yo, you can't do both. Cool. I'm going to go with Wendy. Wendy was layoffs. Literally, they fired 25 people with me. So it's like all of these things are just things that happen in the business. You know what I mean? Same thing with Philly. They bought in a new program director, Boogie D. You know what Boogie D got told? I don't know why you firing Charlemagne. But if this doesn't work out, we got to ship you back to St. Louis. Mm. Didn't work out. God bless Boogie D. Mm. You know, salute to him. But it's like all of that stuff just happened. All that, all that stuff happened for reasons. When you mm. look back, you're just like, hey, man, I learned this here. I learned that here. It was all part of the process. And I'm sitting here now. I'm, I'm, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be at this moment in time. Yeah. Doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And the evolution will continue. That's it. Mm. That's all. You should have wrote your book like that, bro. That I did. Crazy. That's exactly how I wrote it. Okay. Black Privilege is the New York Times bestseller. Damn. All right. Like I don't think you included that shit in it. That was like all that. that was that was all in there. So, bro. That was all in there. It was a New York Times bestseller for like 10 weeks in a row. Eleven matter of fact, eleven weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's damn near like at a million copies sold. What? A lot of people. Black scream. privilege? Bro, black hold on. It was a hot book. Now it's a hot book imprint. Black Privilege Publishing. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all think I just... Mm. God is good. Early. I'm just saying. God is good. God is really, really good, man. I don't... I Don't I, I, Don't I, you want to read that story, guys? It's in don't Black Privilege. <laughs> it's a book. <laughs> story. Don't okay? you want to read? Don't you sit down back... You know what's interesting? What you, what you said, though, Schultz? You, you do what you can with the information you have at the time, right? Mm -hmm. It's like... It's probably jokes you told five years ago that if you told them now, they'd be way better. Yeah, of course. Because you got more information, your language is better, you're more refined, you know what I'm saying? You've grown, you've, mm -hmm. you've evolved. Mm -hmm. That's just the way things are. That's why, like I said, you can't regret nothing. I remember when Malcolm Gladwell was on and Malcolm Gladwell told us there's things in his books that he don't even believe anymore. I'm like, you piece of shit. Exactly. <laughs> I could not grasp that concept I've been going at the time. War over some of the shit that you said in your fucking book. You don't believe no more. But here's the thing. What he believed in outliers will help 
somebody on their journey. Mm. It just doesn't probably serve him anymore because yes. he's grown, he's I older, he's got more information. But a 20 year old will pick up outliers and be like, damn, yeah, 10,000 hours. You know what I mean? That's really what you're going He through. still wants to collect checks on outliers. What? It, 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 outliers can still serve somebody. It just doesn't serve him anymore. Right, right. right That's all. Right. It's just like- nah, I'm, I'm busting. Yeah, it's so many it's things that. that don't serve. It, it's so many things that don't serve any of us anymore. But guess what? Yeah. It's in the history books, baby. It's, it's cool on story. record. It is a cool story. Go back, listen to the, like 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 Jay said, if you want old Charlemagne, go listen to old radio shows. Go listen to old right. podcasts. Would you ever consider writing a story, uh, a book just about that point in your life? What you mean? And telling the story that you just said to me. It's in, man, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, why'd you tell that story? <laughs> I am, I am, I am, I am, uh, I am working on something though. Ooh, I am working on something. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely doing a third book. So, I, and I do have a, a. What about a movie? What about like a film or something like that, based on this point of your life? I'm sure, I'm sure at some point it will. The be. trials and tribulations. I'm sure. I'm, sh I'm sure at the trials and tribulations. The trials and tribulations of Bunky Nose. Listen, I'm sure all of that's gonna happen at some point. Like, I'm not rushing nothing. I'm 43, bro. Yeah, you got time, yeah, bro. Not, I, I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From what I know, I got time. I'm here. Like we gotta love. We gotta. We gotta. Like that's the beauty of life, right? Like they. We've been around a long time. So we got a long way to go, bro. Yeah, bro. At least, at least if for, we're lucky. Bro. If, no, it ain't God lucky. We're blessed. blessed. I know we're anointed. I God know we are, us. and we got a long way to go because I know who who you who you who you aspire to. I know you feel like it's a lot of things you want to do, right? Of course, absolutely. It's a lot of things that I still want to do. Yeah, Wax, yeah. I know it's a lot of things he still want to do. I ain't even started I, I mean yet. this seriously. Just hearing you talk about it is really, uh, obviously, uh, it's really just enlightening. Obviously, you have a cool, unique story, and I know that you did include it. But um, like you've been incredibly connected, and, and it seems like an incredibly uh, important thing for you that you're passionate about, like mental health. Did you ever think about writing a book about that and your experience? In, in yeah. <laughs> 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 I was thinking about it. I think I'm going to name it um, Shook One. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd be correct. And probably have like a cool subtitle, like anxiety playing tricks on me, something yeah, like yeah. that. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I think that would be like something cool to do. You I know think that'd mean? be sick, man, because yeah, it right? seems like it's something incredibly important to you yeah, and you yeah, could yeah. definitely help a lot of people probably help eradicate the stigma around it a little bit you know what i'm saying 100 especially, especially yeah, in yeah, that yeah, community that's a yeah. great idea yeah that's i like a great that. idea shook one shook i like that title one. too it's catchy shook, shook one, one anxiety i might even go to therapy story. shook one i think michael j fox's autobiography is called shook one. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, as always, if you listen to this podcast and you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. You know, and if you wanted any asking idiots uh, from Reddit, blame this guy while you're not getting it. All right, you don't deserve it after what he just said. <laughs> okay, somebody got to pay for Andrew's sins. And since it's not Andrew, it's going to be you guys to listen to this. Okay? It's the Bird that is podcast. Ask, we'll let you ask uh, twice as much next week. <laughs> 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 it's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank early, you for listening. Early. Hey.